Eyes. Many on the Treasure Coast are staying off the water thanks to reports of algae blooms in the St. Lucie estuary. Tonight, News Channel 5's Alex Hagan took a trip out to the Stewart Sandbar to take a look at the turnout. Well, I'm told the Stewart Sandbar is one of the more popular areas on the 4th of July. I was also told that the turnout today was actually a lot less than usual, as I saw with my own eyes. If there's someone who knows whether it's busy on the water. Daily, I'm out here for one reason or another. It's George Solomon. So today we took a trip to find out if the recent reported algae blooms are keeping people on dry land. Dirty water gets pulled right back in. At first glance, as we head to the Stewart Sandbar. Typically, there'd be hundreds of boats there by now. But it was Paul Gallo at the Krusty Crab who gave us the final answer. People that come up to me and ask me if the water's okay. He says about half the usual crowd was out today. Not good for his business. Running this business out at the sandbar and the three different occasions where we had bad water, it's not helping the small business. Of course, many expect the water to get worse. We're in a nine day hiatus of Laco discharges, but with the lake 90% covered in algae, it's not looking good once discharges resume, especially for George, who has a boat building business. Unless it cleans up, we're going to have to find another business, go out of business. Now the Corps plans to begin pulse discharges on Monday. We'll have to see how that affects everyone who lives, works, and plays here on the water on the Treasure Coast. Reporting in Martin County, Alex Hagan, WPTV, News Channel 5. Well, the Treasure Coast algae crisis is attracting big political attention again. Democratic U.S. Senator Bill Nelson will visit Stewart tomorrow like he did at the height of the algae crisis in 2016, as seen in this archive video. Nelson plans to meet with Stewart City officials at 3 o'clock in a public meeting. 